Billy Tube, this is Charlie 426 and today we have the review of a figure. This is a figure from Toy Notch, which is called the Astrobots, and this specific figure is called Argus. Now for those who are a big fan of Jabi the Hall, I'm pretty sure you might have seen him review uh, a figure of these, more of a set, because he, I, if I remember correctly, Jabi the Hall, he reviewed both the Apollo and Argus. So, um, when I first saw those figures, I definitely wanted to get that, but, you know, as, at the time, I was, a, I was still a student, didn't have enough money, so, yeah, now I, I have a job, so I decided to go for one. Honestly, I, I was trying to get for, uh, go for Apollo, but in Korea, it seems like that Apollo is much, much more popular to the point where all of them were sold out, so I decided to get Argus for now. So, the first thing I would like to say is that this figure is amazing. The articulation posability is just top-notch to the point where I have never seen a figure that's this good. Granted, um, uh, I mean, sure, SHF figure arts, they're amazing, but in terms of posability and such, I think this may be much more better. Alright, so let's go on to the review. So, before we go on to the, arti the amazing articulation, I want to go over the box. The box is very a simple design. Here we have Argus. If you bought Apollo, obviously you would, you would have a picture of Ap Apollo in the front. Um, so, the, to the company is named Toy Notch, and I believe Toy Forge is the company that actually, you know, uh, did the manufacturing while the Toy Notch is the main company. Uh, this, as, as far as I'm mean, if I'm wrong, do let me know. And then we have some pictures, and if you look at the back, you have some bios of the characters. So basically, if you don't know, if you go to the Facebook page for the Astrobots, uh, they actually do have like a short comic strip, um, maybe about chapter one that shows about the main story about it, and it's actually pretty interesting. So basically, uh, while Apollo is more of a, a scout type robot, Argus is much more of a security type robot, while there's the same basis. As far as I could understand, even in the the comic strip I saw, it was like that. So let's get on it. All right, so let's get over here and see what we got. So let's, let's go over articulation first. So I, I definitely like the looks of the me, the mechanical design. I remember Jobby saying the the while Argus Argus is much more mechanical, while Apollo is much more biological looking. But still, they're both still uh, robots. The main story about Apollo is that um, now. Earth is no longer, you know, inhabitable, if I, if I remember correctly, and then so they have to look for a new planet. So humans made uh, these cybernetic robots called the Astrobots to basically scout around multiple planets and to lo basically look for, uh, you know, areas that humans could live on. So they're actually made very tough to withstand any sort of environment. Okay, so as usual, let's go over the with the head. So the head can go can move a good amount. So you can go down that much, up not so much, but uh, you can go side to side. Uh, now I wouldn't go say I, I, I can't say go three sixty because if you press press the uh, currently the actually the the eyes are currently light, light up. So basically, uh, what you can do is you can push down the head and it will light up the eyes. So and. I remember Jabi the Hong's version did not work, but now you can see the eyes are actually much more yellow. When it's turned off, I'll show you guys again, because I forgot how long it goes on. Okay, okay, now it's off, so you can see it has now a dark eyes, but when you press the head downwards, you can go, you can light up the eyes. So, yeah, I don't think you want to mess with the head too much. And then let's go with the shoulder articulation first. So the shoulder articulation is pretty interesting. So you have your basic forward and backward movement. This is very interesting. So and keep in mind this is a figure, and I don't think there's any polycaps in in such in such ways. So you can go forward and backward, or you can kind of pull out the shoulder a little bit more and move a little bit more as well. That is amazing. And then you can go 360 on the entire arm, and then the arm can go about 90 degrees to the side, or a little bit more depending on how you uh, move the shoulder joint, and then. Obviously, on the lower arm, you still have your 360 twist. That is pretty good. And what I also like about this figure is that none of the joints are, uh, seem to be... They don't feel like they're going to get loose anytime soon. Everything is a pretty solid joint. So, not too tight, but not too loose. So, the just right amount. right amount. And the arms, at first, you might look... It's, so, it's not as much as you think, but still good enough. So, you get more than 90 degrees bend going on here. And then you have a wrist joint going on, which can move which you can move the uh, hand you know, forward and backward like that or you can rotate the entire hand and on the hand itself you have some finger articulation so on the thumb you can see it's actually a ball joint for the main hand and then you have another 
hinge joint and then another hinge joint on the top the okay these hinge joints might be a little bit stiff on the first first time so yeah so and each finger has these hinge joints so they each have three of them so you have the one that's actually connected to the hand and then we have the middle one and then the the end tip one so all of them are articulated and while uh, one of the main differences other than appearance and design uh, compared to Apollo is that uh, Argus has these hand cannons on the, on the back of the hand so kind of, kind of a odd position but still works and so with these multi, you know moving hands you can pretty much do any poses with the hands you can do a fist you can do a rock on pose you can even do the middle finger part but I'm not gonna show that <laughs> so yeah Alright, so now let's get the body. The body is pretty interesting. It's kind of, kind of on the skinny side, like how IBO kits are, but unlike IBO kits or Iron Blood Orphans kits, these are pretty stiff and they will last long. So number one, we have an amazing ab crunch going on here. Uh, and then backwards, also a great amount of articulation. So yeah, you can see why I'm praising this, kit a, uh, this figure a lot. And then on the top section, you can rotate the top section as well, 360, or kind of 360 as well. Yeah, you're gonna have to work your way around because you can see uh, you have this empty gap here, so you you have to use that as well. And then I believe the lower section does have um, some movement as well, but by looking at it, it's very stiff, so I don't think this is supposed to go move too much. So let's keep that in mind. I'm not gonna risk break, breaking anything here at the moment. So you saw the body articulation, which is amazing. And then on the back, there's not much to, for the back. So uh, what I also like is is the battery component. So because today most DX toys or any f toys that has that you can put in batteries, they always require screws. But this one does not require that. So you can just clip that off, and then you can reveal the battery compartment, which uses two LR44 batteries, and you can just pretty much clip it in. Uh, I should mention that other than Apollo and Argus, they are working on. They have also released a expansion pack for the figure, which is from the same company. They, they are like spider spider robots, they, I believe they comes in set of two and then you can use those as like boosters or weapons as well. You can attach them and as far as I remember, um, w when you attach them to the back you have to detach the battery cover and then you somehow connect in that sort of, sort of way if I remember correctly. But I could be wrong, I, have, I, I haven't bought that because they're kind of on the expensive side but still, yeah. Okay, so let's see what we got. And I do hope Toby Notch releases on other of its you know uh, prototypes I see on their Facebook page because most of the, some of them look amazing so we have the size so number one I believe uh, the legs can go 360 entirely like that which is kind of an uncommon thing in terms of when we compare it to Gunpla or SHA figure arts and then we have a nice size swivel going on here and then the legs can go 90 degrees or almost 90 degrees to the side so okay less than 90 degrees but you still get a pretty good split Con uh, considering how thick size this guy's this guy has, I I'm pretty impressed. And then the bend. Now the bend may feel a little bit stiff, but it's not the case. So at first you may feel like this is, this may end here, but you can you actually get another double jointed bend going on here. So that is pretty good. And then the feet. You have your ball jointed feet. So you have a nice pivot going on here. Oh uh, wait, no, actually it's not a ball jointed feet. It's just a pivot system going on. It, it looked like a ball joint at first, but no, it's just a swivel system going on here. So you have a nice pivot, and then I don't think the the feet can go rotate 360s because of the how it's con uh, it's designed. And then we have a toe bend, and once again the toe bend itself is also pretty pretty stiff. So no need to worry about anything getting loose at any time. Alright, so we've seen the basic of the articulation, so I'm pretty sure you guys are wondering how big this thing is. So, I say it's a pretty good size. Um, I haven't really measured it in terms of centimeters, but uh, here is a typical HG kit right next to it. So you can see it's definitely taller than an HG kit. And then here is a typical Master Grade kit, which I did review yesterday, the Master Grade Jagan uh, first deployment type. So you can see it's taller than HG, but not as big as a Master Grade. Or depending on how you look at it, you could consider it as the same size of a typical Master Grade. So yeah. Um, so currently, I bought mine in Korea, which is not the best option, because in Korea there's no official seller for this, so which is why I had to pay some extra prices going on at the moment. So not the best idea, so if you, can, if you find like an official seller, or if you can find someone who's selling it around $60, that is the correct amount, because I believe this thing, it does cost $60 in uh, in its original retail price. Alright, so I think that's pretty much it, so the only I, I could like demonstrate a few poses, but I don't think that's really too necessary for me to do so, because like, um, I'm not here to demonstrate poses, but what I can de definitely tell you is that the poses are pretty good, and as long as you balance the kit, 
Oh, not kid, I mean the figure. You can pull off a lot of good poses going on here. So you can see, you can do the one leg stand going on there. And I believe Jobby the Hong, he also did like some sort of flip movement going on here, which I tried to do, but not as easy as, as I saw because I had to balance the figure. So, yeah, I would say if you're interested in figures or just mech type characters, which is original design from a certain company, I would highly recommend this. Uh, another thing I should mention is that um, the hand cannons are detachable, which reveals some pegs and uh, inside details going on there. So if you if you were wondering, uh, so yeah, I don't. Well, you can totally have a nice job painting this, but uh, in terms of modification, I don't think there's not much to do. So like if, look, looking at the back, for example, these parts do look like separate pieces, but I tried to take them off, but they didn't really come off. Same goes for the chest; they don't really come off. So yeah, unless you know how the like, I don't know, blueprints work for this, it's going to be hard to, you know, detach a few stuff. But once again, this thing looks amazing. I really love the design of this. I really hope I can find Apollo soon. And then the articulation is top-notch. So, once again, I would like to say, like, to um, thank Tony Notch for making this figure. Uh, they, didn't, they did not support me. They didn't sponsor me. I just bought this on my own. But I really hope they... I really hope to see more products from them from the future. I am aware of their like military figure called the Trash Can Max, but other than that, yeah, I do hope to see more stuff from the same line. Anyway, thank you for watching the review. This was the review of the Astrobots uh, Argus from Toy Notch. If you guys got any questions or requests, leave a comment below. I still have more stuff to buy and build and make reviews out, so please stay tuned. Until then, see you guys next time.